This guy is twisted, evil, and it's Batman. Welcome back to my channel. In today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at DC Multiverse McFarlane line toys last night on Earth Omega. And if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, let's dive into this. And we're going to take a look at the box. And here we have Omega right here. Collect the build Bane, which for this case we hit the legs. Which is pretty cool. We got Batman Last Night on Earth. Then we got in bigger letters Omega Batman Last Night on Earth. I don't know how many times you gotta keep telling us that, but hey, that's cool. On the back of the box, we got a nice little drawing here of Omega. And it looks like Batman is a little busted up right there on the ground. Then we have some different variant uh, cards for the other figures, which is pretty cool. We got Wonder Woman with a mohawk. Batman in a straight jacket with a lantern with Joker's head in it. That's different. And then we got Bane over here with Scarecrow. So that's pretty cool. And I like different variations of characters to see what could have happened. Or how, how should I put it? What if possibilities? So I like how Scott Snyder ended his run with this comic and given us a different take of what could possibly happen. So, and here we got the, the indication of which figures, at least the, the figure, you know, the pieces will need to build Bane and the rest of the figures are down here. And then Bane has that very big imposing presence for a figure, much like one of those larger Marvel select figures. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully the QC issues doesn't factor in with anything I have bought, but hey, we'll, we'll take a look at it together. And here we have Omega out of the box, and also he comes with a card with that illustration we saw on the back of the box, and it looks really good. I'm probably going to keep these cards, I'm not sure, but on the back it has like a data file and a source from exactly where this figure comes from, which comic book. So Last Night on Earth, obviously, comic number three from 2020, real name, obviously Bruce Wayne, the original from that timeline. Height, six foot two, weight, 210 pounds. God, he's only almost the same size as him, but not as muscular. As a dystopian future, after the fall of the heroes, a new evil rose in Gotham City calling himself Omega. Empowered with the anti-life equation, he reigns supreme over the entire East Coast. Now, Omega is rumored to have gained the means to control the mind of every living being on Earth, and it's up to Batman, Wonder Woman, and a band of new heroes to defeat the world, the worst villain ever known and free the world. Yeah, that sums it up for the, uh, if you read the comic, without giving away all the spoilers, but that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep this card. But anyway, here's Omega. And I gotta say, overall... It looks really good. The molded detail for like his bat suit armor. I'm, I know it's Omega, but it's it's Batman, just evil. And uh, you know, it just has like that Kevlar like weaving look. You know, to give all that nice molded detail, even on the arms and everything. They did a really good job with that. Uh, one thing I want to point out, so at least as we're going through this review, this bicep connection here is so loose, and this elbow joint is super tight. This is a double jointed elbow, so I can move the elbow from the bottom here versus from the top. It basically makes me the force the whole arm to come right off from the bicep connection. Now I already used, you know, the hot water method to warm that up and pop that back in, but I'm gonna have to redo that for this joint to loosen this up. So I won't be doing too much articulation with this arm, unfortunately. I was a little bummed out about that, but I'm just happy we are able to get the arm back on and we can continue this review. Because if his arm couldn't get on, then I'd have a bigger problem. 
So, but overall, the articulation is bicep swivel, double elbow joint, obviously. Wrist articulation is full 360. And there is, you can move the joint to a certain point. <clears throat> There's a ball joint there, but it can. There's a little bit of a hinge there, so you can go down and up like that, and you kind of can, you know, wave, so to speak. So I would have done that with this arm, with this hand, but due to that, I'm not gonna mess with that. And then also another big thing, the whole, you know, the ears are on the smaller side, which is pretty cool for this figure. His head can look, let's see, all the way up like that. Obviously, he can look down. And there's another cool thing I noticed, and these are sharp, by the way. He can kind of just tilt his head like he's like something's really wrong in his head, so to speak, like he's crazy. So I may pose him like that on my shelf, like there's just something <laughs> really um, messed up with him. Uh, but I like the red, the red line and everything. It looks really good. The bat symbol looks, I, I really like that. I always like like a different version of a figure. I think that's really cool on the back. I didn't even realize he had a cape uh, for the toy version because of the way they had him in the plastic. So I was like, oh, so he does have a cape. So I thought that was pretty cool. But then on the back, like, they focus more on the front of the suit for molded detail, the paint, and everything. And then when you get to the back, it's just plain black. So, eh, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, then you get the stand. That's a standard thing with uh, McFarlane Toys for the DC line and then obviously we got double jointed knees and my god does he he can bend pretty good actually so you can kind of get him to kneel down and everything so I think that's pretty cool so yep that's one twisted looking Batman so but I like how they can line up these the red design and everything from the chest all the way down to the lower abdomen, all the way down through past uh, his groin, down through his legs and everything, all the way down to the back of his boots. Uh, one thing I want to point out, the ankle articulation and everything is it's on that ball joint, kind of like what his hands are for his, oh, or his wrist. And then he does have toe articulation, and my god... That is just insane for the uh, flexibility of this older version of Batman, so he's able to stay that stretched out at all times to get into those poses, so to speak. So, um, standing-wise, by himself, he's kind of weird, so I like how they give him the stand, so at least you can keep him standing up. For the next set of accessories that came with it, obviously these are Bane's legs. So we will take a look at that when we're ready to build, well, collect the build Bane. So there's that. And the other thing is, I was really surprised to see these in here. They gave us two extra sets of, uh, well, another set of hands, and they're both fisted. So you can actually put them in some kind of, you know, there's no molded detail, it's just simple black painted, you know, fist part of the hands. Uh, there's a little bit of molded detail to show his fingers, you know, individually and stuff, but in a fist. I think that's pretty cool. So, obviously, you just pull these off. Now he has no hands. And these are really easy to take off and put back on, so that's not a big deal there. Uh, let's see here. Give it a little push. Yeah, Batman or uh, Omega is missing a hand. There we go. Sorry about that. So now you can get him in some kind of fighting pose. You know, ready to put him into a fight or something. So maybe you can lock fists with uh, a different McFarlane uh, Batman or a different DC figure. So I think that's pretty cool that they gave us that option. And here they have the hands that were on him. This looks more like a trigger finger. For something for him to hold, like a like a weapon of some sort. Unfortunately, he didn't come with anything. But I like how they gave us that option, if for some reason. And then this one's more for like trying to block a punch or trying to grab like 
block a kick or grab like somebody's like shoulder or something from you know who he's fighting and stuff so i think there's really good options here between the hands so i'm going to leave one fisted hand for the right and i'm going to put this one back on so i think that's pretty cool that they did that but another thing i'd like to point out is these i would say the more of a butterfly joint so you can kind of really got some range and movement for the upper you know for the arms and everything i think that's pretty cool but like i said the double jointed elbow is just insane I mean, he's flexing. I mean, he's at the point where I think my arm would break if I put myself in that kind of position there. But hey, that's cool. And obviously the head sculpt, the mask itself, the white eyes, the Omega red paint, like, that's what I'm just going to call it. Just streaking down, you know, to, and continue after the bat symbol going down the rest of the suit. It looks really good. I can't, and it comes back over here as well to start. But that face sculpt, well, mask sculpt looks really good for a Batman figure. So, really happy that they put a lot of uh, effort into this figure um, without really taking anything away be between adding the Bane legs, which those things are pretty hefty. Um, but overall, and then the other thing I want to point out, this is more the lower abdomen, groin, butt area is more like that softer plastic and everything. So, so depending on how you pose it and everything, it will it will bend and everything with the legs and everything. So you got a lot of room here. There's a little paint smudge with the gray, but that's very unnoticeable. I'll just turn the leg a little bit or something. That's not a big deal. That's not a deal breaker. So one more thing I wanted to point out is the ab crunch and everything for the chest. And let me tell you, this dude got some really good mobility here, range in motion. So he's pretty flexible. I was hoping for a little bit more in the upper part, but lower and everything helps big time. But you can get him in some really good dynamic like posing and everything like, you know, so it's not so bad and everything just got to work with it and then the stand helps a lot to keep them up there and everything but you know trying to get them into some type of pose can be a little bit challenging a little bit but at the same time if you keep working on it it'll get really good my final thoughts on dc multiverse omega last night on earth collect a build figure Number four, honestly, the bat suit looks absolutely amazing. The articulation overall for the figure is totally spot on. I was hopefully expecting from McFarlane, and it, and it didn't disappoint whatsoever. I have a little bit of a bicep issue here for the connection, but it seems to be staying just fine. But I got to use some hot water on the double jointed elbow at the upper part to loosen that up. So that's an easy fix. It comes with a lot of articulation. The head, you can put up, down, you can even get him to kind of hold his head to the side like that, like how Michael Keaton did from the original Batman movie in 1989, just sitting there waiting to be called. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. And yes, this is the end of Scott Snyder's run, his version of Batman, and this dystopian future. My God, it got twisted, and a lot of people were killed in the comic. So, But overall, <clears throat> it's really good, like I said. Suit looks great. Figure is great. I don't have anything really bad to say. And... That's it. This is definitely worth time to pick up, at least to get this figure. I know the Bane build is a whole different thing with the QC issues potential. So we'll get into that later. And we'll take it step by step. So just remember to subscribe to my channel as I've broken more than 300 subs already and I still can continue to climb so 
And if you're here for Transformers, don't worry. They'll be back the rest of the week. At least one or two reviews. And I'll see you next Tuesday for another DC review. Thank you.